Once becoming Emperor of the Galaxy and establishing his empire, Palpatine had achieved one of his greatest goals. But despite that being such an impressive achievement, it was still just another step towards his final design. So what was Palpatine's ultimate endgame? What would he have done had everything gone exactly as he planned? Meaning, what if the Rebel Alliance was completely destroyed at the Battle of Yavin? Or better yet, it never existed, and none of the hindrance it brought upon the Empire took place. We get a small glimpse of Palpatine's endgame with his brief conversation with Darth Vader in the book Tarkin. During this conversation, Palpatine explained to Vader the true purpose of the Death Star, in that it was meant to replace them as the sole figures of fear and terror that the Empire was held together by. He explained that once the superweapon was constructed and had demonstrated its capabilities to the galaxy, no one would dare rise up against them, whether from within or outside the Empire. And as such, they would be allowed to do anything they wished. And one of these things was to explore the dark side of the Force to its fullest potential, to go beyond what any Force user in the past had done and unlock all of its unnatural secrets, one of which was likely the secret to achieving immortality. So why did Palpatine need the Death Star to replace him and Vader as the fear and terror that held the Empire together? Probably to prevent there being a coup or an uprising as the Sith Lords venture to the far edges of the galaxy, likely the unknown regions, as they seek out the center of the dark side Palpatine felt while on Coruscant. Palpatine wanted to learn all there was to the dark side, to perhaps become the very embodiment of the dark side, so he could become powerful enough to twist the entire galaxy and even the entire universe to his very design through the Force itself. We don't exactly know what he meant by that, as he didn't go into detail, but it sounds like he wanted to become a godlike being that could exert his will upon all galactic beings throughout the Force alone for eternity, and to perhaps also eliminate all traces of the light side. That's all we really know of Palpatine's plans had the Empire succeeded in achieving its goals, but hopefully we'll learn more of them and in greater detail in future Star Wars books and comics. Thanks for watching this episode of The Lore Master. Be sure to subscribe for more Star Wars lore videos like these in the future. And may the Force be with you.